So, uh, what's something we can talk about? Good topic. Let's talk about how I broke your phone. Oh. And then I fixed it. That broke me off. So, yeah. So, one night, my man was so tired. Yo, your camera. Let's out. talk about your persona. Because your camera persona is not true, bro. That's right. You're a big fat phony. So, this one night. It's definitely me. No. Yes, sir. She beats me. This is the part where I put the don't try me, try Jesus part. Don't try me, try Jesus. I'll fuck you up. She's a phony. No. Bruh. It look like I got two necklaces on. That's your neck. It's my No, it's my shirt. So anyway, so about a week ago, a little over a week ago now. You're making this story long? He broke my phone. It wasn't on he purpose. He didn't catch it, anything. Like, How about it. she bumped into me and it fell and I felt bad, so I fixed it. Yeah, because you he bumped into me. Bad. You bumped into me. <laughs> you had the phone. He you were holding the phone like this. He didn't you break it. You were holding the phone like this. <laughs> no, he broke my phone. He felt so, so bad. And I didn't feel that bad. That night, that same exact night. I mean, like he didn't even say like One go to sale. Apple Care, go I to Apple so Store, bad. get get it fixed for thirty dollars, anything. He straight up purchased me a new screen that night, and then it came that Thursday. Wednesday. Wednesday it came that Wednesday. Thank you, baby. And he fixed it like right on the spot. He did a really good job too. So if you have like mess up screens or anything like that. That's your guy to fix it. I'm not. Mr. Fix It. I'm not. He'll fix it for $30. I fixed her phone because if not, she would have been crying. Why? You broke my phone. You break your butt. She tried to play it off like you didn't care. And you know you cared. Your whole heart was broke. Ooh. I didn't care. Bruh, she cared. It was bad. <sighs> I, I don't even have the screen no more. Or... I do. A few moments later. It's right here. Oh, you can't really see it. it doesn't do so much justice. No. But it's shattered. It didn't even crack. It's shattered. The entire screen. Yeah, it was pretty bad. But he came through on the clutch. He fixed it, so that's all that matters. She's the type. We could have went, probably went to Apple and had them fix it and made an appointment. But she's the type. If you break it, you fix it. So I was like, before she cries about it, let me just fix it. You just deem me as like it. one of those convenience store workers. You break, you buy. Yeah, that was you. No. That was you. I did want to cry a little bit. And it was like cutting my fingers. How about too? you talk about how long you had the phone before it cracked? Like two weeks. Brand new phone. That was the shortest amount of time that I ever had a phone that broke. Like that hurt me worse than my, my other phone going in the ocean. Was good. Yeah, but that was your son that did that. Oh my gosh, it was so bad. Did like, you, did you, did, did he get in trouble? No, he didn't know it was in there. It was kind of my fault, but I had to blame somebody. So why not? Wait, how, so how'd that happen? So we had this floaty boat thing, right? That you can put in the ocean and you can ride Wait, it. Wait, so before we was on a boat. No, was it wasn't a boat. a boat. It wasn't a boat like that. It was not that kind of boat. It was a you floaty. Yeah. Yes. So first of all, like to be with Jason, you have to have so much patience. Anybody that's ever encountered this man. You know, you gotta have all the patience in the world, okay? Why the fuck you lying? Why, Why you always lying? So to me, I feel like I am the most patient individual ever. Pure fiction. It's fiction. Because you gotta have a lot of patience to deal with this man. Psych! Let's stay on the cell phone topic because you don't have to have patience. I'm the patient one, as you can obviously see from this <laughs> conversation. 
from this conversation. <laughs> You're the patient one from the conversation who sat there, broke my phone that night, and then went right online you while you were it. driving to buy another one. While he was driving, guys, he knows how much I cannot stand First people of all, that drive. I do and not text and drive, phone. so let's get that out the way. Oh my I gosh. don't even look at my phone while I'm driving <laughs> because I obey the law, and it's not my style. It's not my style. <laughs> You're a liar. You liar. Don't lie to the fans. All 67 of them on your subscribe list. It's Don't lie to them. It's growing. It is growing. I've had my YouTube for a little while, and I think I have like five subscribers. If you want to see And anybody, all of the views are just me viewing my own videos. If you want to see funny videos, click right here. <laughs> Down below. <laughs> oh. Next topic. Um, I cook. She cleans. I cook too. I but cook. when I hold on, whoa, 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 whoa. When I cook, I clean too. I clean the dishes as I go, as I cook, as I clean. So then the whole kitchen's clean, and then when everybody's done using their forks I or cook. whatever, when it's done, I still clean them up. He cooks, leaves dishes, makes more dishes. I wash the dishes while he's cooking to you get them out of the way, and, and then he sits me? there. You are a liar. Oh. <laughs> you gonna sit here and lie on me? I cook. <laughs> so that had me weak just now. But I cook. Uh-huh. <laughs> so Anywho. Alright, next topic. Girlfriends shouldn't fart in front of their boyfriends. Oh. Point oh blank period. Gosh. Oh my gosh. So first of all, to all the women out there, it is okay to pass your ass in front of your man. Okay. Like, let me tell you something. I have literally, I walk out the room. What? And it's been over a year since we've been together. But he can sit here and crap himself basically right in front of me. And he thinks that is not disgusting. What's disgusting is if you hold in your foot, ladies, that's nasty because then you get all of this pain inside of you. You're wondering why you all bloated and what's going on because you need to let it out. All this air in my poo, I got a fart. Leave me alone. I can't hold my farts in. And it's okay to let it out. And if you don't let it out, then when you're sleeping, it's going to come out. And he's going to be acting like he's asleep or your man's going to be acting like he's asleep and he's not. And you're going to feel embarrassed. So why not just let it flow let it go relax relate listen women have to be ladylike so they do things that women do that keep their lady likeness you know at an all-time high for example if you have to poop you excuse yourself and you go poop in your privacy of your own self now men you know men are nasty you know <laughs> i'm not nasty i'm just saying oh <laughs> yes you are yeah yeah <laughs> But see, that's like things that a man can do that, like for example, Wendy Williams farted on camera, right? That, I mean. <laughs> what? Bad example. Try again. He loves Cardi B. I bet you Cardi B craps herself in front of her man. Because she, why? You gotta let it go. I do. <laughs> what are you doing? I do. You wanna see him hug himself? So boxing was on the other night, and I was asleep. And he said, hey, babe, Danny Garcia and Spencer is fighting. I was like, ooh, I know who Danny Garcia is. I love him. I, I follow him care. on Instagram. I didn't care. And then he was like, he got what? go to sleep. It don't matter. You win some, you lose some, but you live. You live to fight another day. You win some, you lose some. But you live, you live to fight another day. Oh, go ahead, Craig. Who the fuck, Craig? Oh, my God. That's right. I'm done for tonight. I'm going to sleep. You did a great job, Danny Garcia. You went 12 rounds. Say bye. Proud of you. 
All right, fans, if you want some more of this vlog talk, then just, you know, like, subscribe, comment. Do all of the above. Random right below. vlog talk.